Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Metro Last Light. Um, we are going to be starting, seeing as I have some time, this is going to be my third sort of major Let's Play. Uh, the sequel to 2033. There was a cutscene at the start, but I seem to... I watched it first of all, and then I quit and came back and it didn't play although we can try this I don't know what this is gonna do is this chat to select when asked how it all started I always tell that it all began that day when we went to Botanical Gardens. We, meaning yours truly, and two of my friends. Whose idea was it to visit the abandoned station? Who persuaded the others to go? I always tell them that I don't remember. I always lie. It is a safe lie. Or there is no way to ascertain the truth. Both Vitaly and Eugene are dead now. The massive airlock doors shrugged and opened with a grinding sound, opening a road to hell for us and a road into the metro for the demons. But in fact it all started that day when Mother said we should take a walk in the botanical gardens and go there by metro. I remember how we took a short escalator to the surface, how we exited a spacious glass pavilion and saw a street buried in green. I remember the small clouds moving across the limitless sky, a soft, cool wind on my face. Mother bought me an ice cream. That was the last time I tasted it. That day humanity was executed. The righteous and the sinful were called to be rendered according to their deeds. And we hid from God's sight in the metro. And we were saved from his wrath. And he apparently decided that flushing us out wasn't worth the trouble. Then he went about his business or perhaps died. While we stayed on this used up and discarded earth and continued just going with it. Going nowhere. I remember so many random, unnecessary things, yet I don't remember the most important one. My mother's face. She died very soon after the war started. All that remains of her is that day in the gardens. How I wished I could recall her face. The way she looked at me. The way she whispered that I have nothing to fear sell my soul just to recall that. I'd do that any day, any time. And I did. Now, that might show when I start a new game, but just in case, because it started when I first started up the game. Um, this is going to be more of a first impressions to begin with. The game's been out for about a week. Um, so I'll upload maybe the first couple of chapters and then there'll be a short break just so that if anyone wants to play it they can. I don't want to ruin it for people. But then again I suppose you don't have to watch it if you don't want to ruin it. I've heard that it's a bit different from Metro 2033. Obviously it's not being made by the same people. THQ went bankrupt. Um, but we shall see. New game. Now, the original mode, recommended for Metro newcomers. If this is your first playthrough of Metro Last Light, we recommend you select original mode. HUD, UI and in-game hints are enabled and ammunition is plentiful enough so that non-stealth tactics can be successfully used in combat. Ranger mode, a unique challenge for Metro veterans. For seasoned Metro pros, Ranger mode forces you to play with limited HUD, UI or hints. Combat is more deadly and resources are scarce. A stealthy approach is advised in all combat scenarios. That I got from pre-order. Um, 
based on entertainment factor, we are going original mode. While ranger mode might be more fun to watch, I will get more pissed off with ranger mode to begin with. So, original. Easy. Recommended for FPS. Not... Uh, meh. You'll need to closely watch your ammo and filter supplies. Approach every combat scenario with extreme caution. No, we're going to go normal. Adjust the slider so the leftmost image is barely visible. Well, that's... I like it there. I don't want it amazingly dark. That's fine. The Dark Ones came much later, from the Garden's direction. The Dark Ones, huge, towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures, creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil that with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. Joseph. That's all lies. <laughs> Truth is even scarier. D6. I... I don't really know where this falls in, <coughs> if this is a direct sequel. I heard you were still playing Arteon, but I'm not really sure. And also, if it is a direct sequel, I don't know what ending it plays from. Because obviously, for those of you who watch my Metro 2033 playthrough, I got the Ranger ending. Which was the bad of the two endings. Um, so, I don't know. Any key to continue? Well, I used to live nearby. Before the war, I mean, uh, up there. I was on the train when it happened. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What the? What happened? Shit! Um, shit! Shit! What's going on here? Christ knows. It's me, Khan. Nightmares, eh? No wonder, after all you've been through. Listen, I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's hive, and I saw one of them, still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact, before you launched the missile strike against them. Khan, how the hell did you get here? Get out, now! Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller. But we must persuade him to allow this mission. Khan, I told you to get out! This is a classified base. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Artyom. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. Move it, you windbag. I knew a smoker once. During the last year of his life, he had to eat, drink, and breathe through a tiny hole in his throat. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I'm just... We'll be getting used to the sensitivity and shit as we're going along. Okay, based on what Khan just said, um, we launched a missile strike at the Dark Ones, which is the Ranger ending, the bad ending. That's where it's continuing from. Which is a bit weird. I thought it might continue from the uh, good ending. Well, you don't launch a missile strike at the Dark Ones, but okay. Okay, let's go on with that. Alright, well we picked up a lighter and a map. We found this place a while ago, but they still can't get used to it. Strange <laughs> place, this D6. I didn't know they ever built markers this large. The story is, construction started in Stalin's time and went on until the USSR broke down. War was inevitable, they said. And the people believed in a better future. Our leaders put their money on Armageddon. And did D6 save them? No. They couldn't reach it in time. And here, it stood for 30 years until our guys stumbled on it. Привет, Artyom. Artyom was one of the men who found D6. They gave him a ranger's badge on the spot. Yeah, that's nice for him. I had to spend two years as a cadet before they accepted me into the order. Well, anyway, uh, where were we? I suppose it's nice down here. Um... I'm gonna turn the sound up a bit just for the fucking voices. Since they got the reactor working, the lights, the heat, but still, it doesn't feel right. Like, it's too damn good, you know? Quit whining. It's a gift from your ancestors. Enough to survive down I here can't for decades. Put the map away. Maybe until the world up there will take us back. So. How the fuck? Well, we're walking around with a map out for a while. Oh, you've got guns. Guns and guns and more guns. I want your guns. This is a secret base, boy. You shouldn't be hanging about. You need to chill. They can keep dreaming in the metros. For me, it still feels like every patrol outside could be the last. Did you hear what happened to Romanov's group? Romanov? I thought he was in the hospital from the attack on the Great Library. Discharged last week, so his squad has sent through the marshals to the church base. And Romanov's the only one who makes it there alive. You're shitting me! The rest of the group? Wiped out? The marshes are easy. You just look for the markers and flags and walk along them so you don't drown. A child could do it. Well, okay, the shrimps always gave you hell. But come on, what could take a whole squad down? No idea. They found Romanovs alone at the church, sitting on the floor praying. Since then, he doesn't eat, doesn't react to people. He just speaks to God. <laughs> Well, Romanov's not expecting an answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... the animation's a little bit off. I'll be honest, it doesn't look... top quality here. How are fucking controls? Inventory. Okay, you gotta hold it. Why would flies land on your fucking eyes? Come on, you have five more sets of thirty. <laughs> Look at those two rookies. Doing good. Carry Pathetic. On. No wonder the colonel ordered the training to sharper. double. Move sharper! Keep your back straight. Tighten your gut. What's with the beer You were gonna aim that at me, you prick. Good. Doing good. Where have they found all these people? Because the order at the sharp. end of the fucking Damn. place was just good like... Good jobs like that. 
Half an hour about more. three people or some shit. We all died. Oh. You've got a gun. Heard about what you did. Respect, man. Word is, there's shit in the marshes. Maybe worse than the dark ones. Stay out of there. All right. <laughs> that was a mighty fine barbecue you made of those dark ones. Yeah. Why does it keep going? There he is, our hero. Is everyone going to talk to me and not let me proceed? I want to walk. Hello, Artyom. Welcome to the armory. I hear you are a ranger now, huh? We must get a drink sometime to celebrate. For now, let's get you equipped. All right. So, first things first. You're going to need a gas mask. You can't make a step on the surface without a gas mask. It's been 20 years and the radiation still strong enough in some places to boil water. There are hot spots down here in the metro, too. Don't forget filters for the mask. Sure, it looks cool enough even without these, but they definitely make it better for your health. Now, med kits. Well, what can I say? Anything you need for survival in a stylish orange case. Here's your advanced salary for this month. Remember, your pay is in military-grade rounds. Sure, you can use them as usual ammo for some hefty extra damage, but saving them to buy guns, attachments, regular ammo and equipment from merchants anywhere in the metro seems like a smarter move. <laughs> All right, now to the good stuff, huh? Let's get you some guns. Take the ones you want and try them out on my range. Now, the thing I will say is I believe I got an extra hundred bullets or some shit. Military grade rounds for pre-ordering. Um, I hate that sort of thing. It's a fucking single player game. Oh. Rangers usually carry up to three weapons, Artyom, and the choice of those is completely up to you. Weapon choice, Valve. This rifle made in the Metro by skilled guns is extremely accurate and powerful. A truly great long distance weapon. Kalash. The classic pre-war assault rifle, despite being very common, it is held in very high regard in the Metro due to its reliability and performance. The RPK, the classic pre-war light machine gun, has a great range and is very precise, at the same time being able to handle long bursts. The Bastard. This makeshift SMG has a high rate of fire which makes it overheat and jam rather rapidly, hence the weapon's name. The Shambler. This revolving shotgun is very effective at close range and, straight and stays so even at medium range, but takes quite some time to fully reload. Make sure you take a close range weapon with that one. Rifles are good for long range targets, but you don't want to get caught with your pants down if something creeps up behind you. Lightweight and fully automatic. You can see the rounds in the clip, but it overheats and its accuracy is shit. I always carry a pistol. Sturdy, reliable, and. What? Reflex sight. This pre war sight makes aiming the gun at close to medium range easier without sacrificing much of the field of view. Reflex sight. Hides the muzzle flash and muffles the shots. Decreases spread at the same time. Projectile speed is also decreased, leading to more damage fall off. Makes the weapon bulkier and heavier. Um, Weapons down. 
Let's have a silencer on this. A reflex sight on that. Shotgun silencer. Hides the muscle flashes slightly muffles the shots. Decreases shot spread. Shot speed is also decreased leading to more damage fall off. Extended barrel. We want that. And that'll be fine. What the fuck is this? What are you aiming at? Fucking sniper! I'll train you so you can hit the target with your eyes closed. Even if I have to blind you bastards myself. Now get out of my sight! Shooting position! Load! Fire! 